<laughs> it just keeps exploding. Oh my god. What's up, guys? This is KJ48, and welcome back to my Let's Play for Pantropy. All right, what are we, what are we going to be doing today? Well, guys, I've been doing a lot of work off camera. So, number one, I've got to give you a tour. I've got to show you around. Then, we are going to place the tomahawk I got, the plane, and see if we can fly that sucker around. We're going to do a lot of research, and then we're going to do some building. I've got a new base out there, a new base project. It's going to be huge. It's going to be awesome. You're not going to want to miss it. If you end up enjoying the video, please remember to uncage that like button. Also, if you're new here, please subscribe for more daily videos. So, let me show you around. I'm just going to kind of show you my inventory. If you're really, really interested, you can go ahead and pause the video. I will, you know, slow down if I have something to say. But a lot of this is just going to be showing you what I have. Oh, by the way, I did make some armor. Um, I've got some heavy armor boots. Uh, you can see on the left-hand side all the uh, the protection, melee protection, bullet protection, all kinds of cool stuff. And right here, I've got some medium. Oh, wow. The difference between medium and heavy is really big difference. The thing is with the heavy, you have to, um, you have to research it. So... Anyway, so there's that. Um, I've got a bunch of stuff in here all cooked up. I've got this. Um, if you put these energy cells inside the generator, like so, um, they will recharge. So you can recharge your batteries by doing that. Uh, what else do I have here? Uh, let me take a look. Um, there you go. You got some stuff. I picked up another tier three heavy duty mining tool. Um, I got a small rocket launcher. I should probably check that out at some point. That sounds pretty sweet. Uh, what else do I have? Okay, so I've got just a ton of materials, right? All right, I got a bunch of, st uh, of data here. I got a bunch of data here. Um, but more materials. I've been running that. I've been running my um, my mining platform a lot. So I've got a lot of materials here. These are okay. So I wanted to tell you guys this. Um, I've not. I, I got to explain this. They changed. The crafting, they've simplified it. Um, at first, I wasn't on board, but the more and more I work with it, the more and more I like it. So if you're going to make like a, an advanced mining drill, you don't have to make all those stupid prerequisites. You just have to make, you know, with the items that you need. And basically, this is how much it would have cost for the advanced mining head even before. Um, except instead of like having to made up, make a bunch of mining heads and a bunch of this, a bunch of that, you just use all the materials in one craft and boom, you got an advanced mining head. Um, they did tell me to keep all of these like prerequisite items though, because they might come in handy later. So I'm going to hold on to those and yeah, so I got a bunch more, uh, building materials here. Uh, more building materials here. Nothing really new there for you. Um, I do have 50, uh, 50 solid foundations that we're going to be placing down today, probably, if we get to it. First things first, let me go ahead and put on my armor. I could, I've had this armor for a little while, but I wanted to put it on with you guys. Now, I don't even know if this armor does anything, to be perfectly honest. Um, is there a helmet? You don't know. Helmet. Helmet. No, I don't think there's a helmet. I didn't see one. Maybe that's like a special thing. You've got like basic armor, light armor, medium armor, and then you can, you can, um... Learn recipes for heavy armor. Now, it is it is nighttime. We can't go outside. So, why don't we go ahead and do some research while we wait? That should be pretty cool. We're just going to go ahead and take all this research. You can see I put down a lot more chests because these there's just too much stuff and these chests don't hold enough. All right. So, let's do some research, guys. All right. Well, this is an easy choice right here. We're going to go with the small rocket launcher. All right. There we go. Um, well, that's it. Oh, that's the same one. All right. So... I have the small rocket launcher and I have everything else, obviously. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to look for, what are these things called? Data sets. I'm going to look for a data set for things I can sell on the market. And getting a data set for a tier three mining tool is pretty decent. So, all right, well, we failed, but that's okay. Um, oh, here we go. More heavy armor. Let's go with, I want the pants, although the gloves 100%, so we might as well go with the gloves. All right. Uh, glove. What is this? Military tech. I wonder what that is. Isn't that, hmm, hold on a sec. I'm confused now. What is this? Military tech. I'm going to go with the boots here. I'm going to have to remember to look at that when I'm done here. Uh, heavy armor skin. All right. Heavy armor skin gloves. Let's go with the gloves. Um, okay. I got to I gotta learn this stuff because it's, it's actually not showing up now because I haven't learned it. Like, it's not showing up as researched. All right, so let's go ahead and do this, and this, and this, and this. I believe we already did, yeah, we, already, we have this one already. See, the heavy gloves data set, we already had it. Let's take a look at the items we got. 
All right, so we got the heavy armor boots, heavy armor gloves, small ro uh wait rocket launcher. There we go. Um, medium tech. So the medium tech is stuff I already am wearing, right? Isn't that the stuff I already made for myself? Yeah, medium tech. Okay, so medium tech is what it is. It's not really anything. You kind of have it already. Um, heavy armor helmet. Oh, there we go. Heavy armor helmet. Beautiful. Okay. Oh, here we go. Uh, do we want? Do we want the 30 mil cannon or the, I already have a tier two mech I'm going to put down. Uh, let's go with the cannon. Go for the hundred percent stuff. All right. I don't even know why I'm learning this stuff, but whatever. Hmm, what's that? Oh, a mech stealth module. All right. Let's try the tier two mech. I would be able, I would like to be able to make one too. Um, oh, there we go. The advanced mining station. Yeah. Awesome. Now we can make an advanced mining station. <laughs> Even though we already have, are we gonna go to tier three uh, mining tool again? Because I think that's the that's the one we want to try and sell. Put it up on the uh, market. Um, that's a precision rifle. Oh, by the way, I actually made a uh, railgun projectile stuff, and I have a an uncommon railgun. Uh, I'm not thrilled with the railgun. I've tried it out. I'll show you it, but I don't really like it that much to be honest. Mech cannon, dual mech. La wait, wait, mech dual laser lance. I don't know what that is, but it sounds pretty cool. And what do we got here? All right. I'm pretty sure I already got that. What is that? That's the um, precision rifle. Did I fail the precision rifle? Uh, mm, I think I did. All right. There we go. All right. So let me learn. All, all right, guys. I'm, I'm really not sure. I, I finished up everything, by the way. Um, but I'm really not sure the way the market works. I went to sell some stuff on the market, right? And um, it said for sale, right? So I went up and uh, I clicked this little button here, sell an item. I put it in there. I put a price and I did sell now. And it went down here. Now, I don't know what these sold items are, but I never put up any scout mech. I never put up a light. And as soon as I put this heavy duty mining tool, mine, mining tool data set up, it went directly down here. And it says redeem, but I don't know. I'm pressing these buttons. It doesn't seem doesn't seem to be doing anything. I'm not, I have no freaking clue uh, what's going on with the market. Either it's broken or I don't understand the way it's working. But anyway, that is not really of utter importance. I think what we're going to do now is... Uh, where did that go? Nope. Nope, we're good to go. Now I think what we're going to do is... Oh, one other thing I want to show you before we go any farther. Is I did get a, a solar panel and I put it on the roof. Kind of cockeyed, but, you know, I'm not, I'm not really worried about it. I just kind of threw it up there to just see what it would do. It's pretty cool. It gives it, I think it gives you about 50 watts of power. So, that's pretty nice. Um, right in here, I do have a bunch of Tier 1 mining heads along with a tier, an advanced mining head and a bunch of batteries. Um, honestly, I kind of need the Tier 1 mining heads more because I need uh, the Feldspar to continue crafting the way I want to. So, uh, what else? Alright, so let's go ahead and put this Tomahawk down. I have no idea how this works, like, at all. So we're just going to kind of have to see. Um, I don't know why that's red. Maybe, at least, maybe I should put it down on this platform up here. Although I can't... Oh, here we go. Do you have to put down on a platform? Oh, that's a bit of a bummer. I don't want to put it down on that platform because I can't get up there. <laughs> so <laughs> that would suck, right? Um, yeah, I can't get up there. So I guess you do have to put it on a platform. Uh, wait, hold on. Hold on. There we go. That's not what I wanted to do. Oh, boy. I don't know how that's going to work. I might have to break up those platforms now. Ah, that's a bummer. That's a bummer. Okay, so usually these t take a couple minutes to uh, spawn in. So I'm not really sure how long this is going to take. It should tell me over here. Let's take a look. Uh, one minute. Okay, just like the regular max. All right. So, yeah, what I'm going to do here is this is going to be a giant, like, platform. All right? And after that, I'm going to start building the base. So what I'm doing here is I come down here like so. And basically the reason I build it up so high is because I don't want to have to deal with the grass. So there we go. Alright, we should make some kind of ramp to get up there, I think. I don't think there's any other way to get up there. Um, I'm not going to go any farther this way. Because the idea is I want to put walls up to where if someone jumps off one of these mountains, they can't get inside the compound. So I'm not going to go any farther this way. Oh, is this thing done? Yep, this thing's done. Okay, so let's see what we can do here. Oh, there we go. Now it's done. And now it's upside down. Now I think I can make one of these, right? Um, what is it called? The tomahawk? Tomahawk. Yeah, I can make one. Um, oh, wow. That's not even that much stuff, honestly. All right. Well, now it's upside down. So <laughs> let's see how this is going to go. Let's get in the pilot's. Nope. Get in the pilot seat. 
Nope, can't enter the... There we go. All right, my password. There we go. Set password. All right, get in the pilot seat. No, no. Actually, we're going to do is we're going to come up here and we're going to put some of the energy cells in. I don't know why the energy cells don't go in where they're supposed to, but that's okay. And then we're going to get inside. Are we? Yep, now we're upside down. Uh, let's see if we can kind of turn around. Oh, nope. Nope. <laughs> Oh, this is a bummer. Can I... Hold on. Hold on. No, can we, can we tilt? No. Darn it. Let me play around to see if I can get it right side up. All right, guys, if your tomahawk's ever upside down, um, the way you fix that is you press control. Um, it'll make it go up so you can turn it around. Then you press uh, Q and E to kind of, uh, you know, rotate it. And that's the way that works. So this freaking thing is phenomenal. Go, press V to go into third person. And you press spacebar to go up, but if you're upside down, you press control to go up. Um, normally, you press control to go down, okay? Also, when you get in it, the um, the gyro is not going to be on, so you press H, and that turns on the gyro, and that'll kind of give you some stability. And, uh, man, this thing is so freaking cool. Let's fly it around a little bit. Now, this thing's also buggy as hell, um, so I expect we might lose it at some point. Uh, also, my, um, my mouse is going off the screen. I need to let them know about that. Um, if you have dual monitors, my mouse is going to my other screen when I go too far to the left. So, I wonder if I could fly without the mouse. No. It's not letting me. Alright, also your controls are going to be in inverted when you first uh, get in this thing. Uh, if you go into your options menu, right here, go to controls, and then hit special. Um, actually not special, general. Uh, d down here, inverted mouse and aircraft. Because I cannot fly. Freaking inverted, man. That would drive me up a wall. All right, so let's fly this sucker around. Let's go over here. I think this is Entech's base right here, by the way. He's got the biggest base I've seen so far. Um, well, I mean, you know, a lot of people probably have bigger bases. This is the one I've seen so far, though. Check that out, man. He's got a huge base, tons of mechs. He's got a couple Tier 3s, a couple Tier 2s. He's camped out right by the right by the outpost so he can farm it all the time. As a matter of fact, why don't we, uh, why don't we grab some stuff out of the outpost while we're here? It's not a bad idea. So you're going to kind of try and land this thing a little bit carefully. Because I think it can be destroyed. <laughs> Let's turn it off. Let's get out. I love this thing. It is awesome. And um, if I lose it, I'm just going to craft another one. Because the freaking thing is beast. I love it. So let's come on in here and see what we get, guys. Keep your fingers crossed for some epic loot. I usually get something good in here. Um, eh, that stuff's not great. But you know what? If I'm going to be building, it's going to help. Oh, boy, the lag. Um, here we go. What do we got in here? Okay, good. Um, it's going to be nighttime soon, so I'll probably pause the video. And then we'll do some building in the morning. And uh, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to restart the game. Um, an uncommon assault rifle that's better than what I got. So there we go. Mine's poor. Um, yeah, because I want to restart because I I've been tabbing out of the game too much. And I should restart it. Okay, there we go. All right, let's fly around for a little bit longer, and then I think we're going to spend the rest of the video building out our base. Man, this tomahawk is sweet. Let's go take a look at Entex base, by the way. Oh, man, these these Tier 2 mechs are just awesome. I do have a Tier tier 2 mech, by the way. I found one, but I'm, I'm going to put it down uh, probably next video. Uh, I know I said I was going to do some jobs this video, but we just simply did not get to it. Um, so what we'll do is next video, we'll put down a Tier 2 mech, and we'll do some jobs. Look at this freaking monster. Look at this monster. Holy cow. I'm pretty sure those are the tier 3 mechs. Unless there's some kind of tier 4 I don't know about. Alright, so let's go on and get up here. It's a pretty cool base. I do like it. He's got his uh, auto miner up there. Got a couple turrets here. That's pretty cool. I can't go in because I don't know his password. Uh, it looks like he's got a couple crafting tables. That's smart. Um, although we really don't need multiple crafting tables too much anymore. Okay, we're back. The wife called, so I don't have much time here. Let me just show you around this uh, base. Looks like he's got... I don't know what that is. I think that's... That might be the nuclear generator and he's got a lot of room in here that is a pretty pretty freaking sweet base honestly i'm not gonna lie this is what got me in the mood to like make a really big base um because i saw entex base and i saw my little shack and i'm like nah nah that's not gonna do it that is not gonna do it now normally i would pause the video here to fly home um but you know what man <laughs> this freaking thing is awesome oh my god let's get in it let's turn this thing on let's get up there let's fly home oh i love this thing this thing is so awesome it's, it's relatively expensive, but it's not ridiculously expensive. Like like I said, I've been on Discord, and a lot of people have having problems with it. One guy lost, like, five of them. 
Um, he says every time he like logs in, it's like exploded and stuff. Um, although you know, you might be playing on a, on a you know regular server, and maybe someone destroyed it. Who knows? But or maybe it's bugged. I don't know, probably you know. All right, so let's go down here. We don't want to land it anywhere we can't get to. I did. I made that mistake last time or earlier. I actually um I actually landed on that platform to the left, and I couldn't get up there, so I had to make some ramps. So let's go ahead and uh, just land it right here. It should be okay. Let's land it nice and gently, so it doesn't explode. Okay, that looks good. All right, beautiful, beautiful guys. All right, um, I'll see you in the morning, and uh, we'll do some build. Oh, hold on. Yep, just exploded. Yep. Yep, that's what I was telling you guys about. So, oh my god, are you going to stop exploding? <laughs> it just keeps exploding. Oh my god. And there it goes. All right, well, that that kind of sucks. Um, I'm not really sure why it did that. It's probably just bugged, honestly. Um, like I said, people are having problems with this on the, uh, on the Discord. I might not make another one, though, if it's just going to keep exploding. It's like throwing away resources. I'll probably make one more, but if it does that again, I'm just going to uh, say to hell with it. And, uh, you know, just I'll wait until it gets fixed. So anyway, guys, I'll see you in the morning for some building. All right, guys, it's the morning. Um, actually, I've been gone for like uh, about an hour in real in real lifetime. So, um, yeah, uh, the wife called. I was talking to her. I had to take care of some other stuff. So I'm not sure if it's close to nighttime or not. Uh, honestly, it really doesn't matter. Uh, let's get out there and do some building for sure. Um, I wanted to make some walls, and I don't think I ever got around to it. Yeah, I'm not seeing any walls. What we're going to do is we're going to go right here. We're going to go into crafting. We're going to look up walls. Let's see what we need for some walls here. We're going to be making the wall elements. And it looks like we can make quite a bit. Let's make 50. Nope. Let's make, uh, well, we're going to get some more pig iron. I, I want to make 50. By the way, pig iron's a, a, a strange thing to call that, isn't it? Pig iron? I don't know. Maybe it's just me. All right. So let's go ahead right here. Wall element and 50. There we go. Looks good. All right. Let's go, uh, let's go plant. Let's go do some planning. Okay. So this is what I want to do, guys. This is what I want to do. All right. Uh, like I said, this is going to be a huge platform. It's going to span quite a ways. It's going to go all the way over there, all the way over there. It probably won't come anywhere, any more this way, like I said. Uh, but it's going to be like a big compound, okay? But inside the compound, I do want to put down a uh, an actual building where I'm, I'm going to live, you know? Um, so I think we're going to do that right now. Let's go ahead and uh, push these down. All right, we need one there. Nope, come on. There we go. Alright, now remember, this is going to be the level that this is going to be on, so... Um, I may need some uh, ramps. Um, do I have any ramps? I do not. Let's look for some ramps here, so we can get up, we can get up there if we need to. There we go. Got to put all these like this. Now remember, um, I'm putting down all these, all, these, uh, all these platforms, because the ground below is not flat. And I'm just, I want, you know, this to all be level. So, um, we're using a lot of resources here, but I'm okay with that. I think it's going to be cool. So let's go ahead and uh, put all these down. Come on. Come on, damn it. There we go. And I think we need... Yep, another one right here. It's a little slow to put down uh, foundations. <laughs> I guess when you're putting down so many foundations, you know. It's kind of uh, just a bit slow. Oh my goodness. Okay. Come on. Uh, you know what? We could probably put that down from the top. All right, let's see if this is going to be... this. We have to make sure that this is going to be the ultimate level that we're going to be working at here. Um, before we make any decisions, okay? And basically the idea is that it doesn't need to go up any higher because of the grass. Um, there's a little hill right here. I'm wondering if this is going to be a problem. It, it really doesn't look like it. I'm going to actually build out to that hill though. Because I want to I see if that hill is going to be an issue. So what we do is we come out like this. I don't think it's going to be a problem. Alright, so it's going to be like that. Can we put another one down below? We already did. Okay. There we go. All right, yeah, the hill is going to be okay. I just don't want the grass sticking through the the floor. I don't want to build too close to these guys because they might want to build their own places, but... Yeah, that should be fine. Yep, yep. So that's the level we're going to be building on, okay? So what we're going to do is now we need a ramp to get up there. So let's go ahead and... Um, probably just go from here. Put a ramp right there. There we go. So is this going to be plenty of room? Eh, it's not really plenty of room, but it's a lot of room. We might need some more room up here because um, I want my base to be pretty big. Although I could build it higher rather than making it ridiculously big. All right, so I think what we're going to do is that we're going to continue going way out there. Um, 
But this seems to be a pretty good a pretty good spot to build. Okay, so where are my walls? There's my walls. All right, so we're going to continue building this way. All right, we're going to continue putting down foundations and just build this way. But I think this is where I'm actually going to put my my house. Now, do I want my house right up against the wall, the outer wall? I don't think I do. All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to put down some walls right now. And there we go. Okay, so that's going to be the outer wall. And then we want to start our own base. And I guess we could put our own base right here on the inner wall, or should we go over one? All right, guys, I think I've got an idea for a build. Let's go ahead and put these stairs down. There we go. So we got some stairs there. So I think we're going to put a regular wall here and a regular wall here. And then a wall here. All right, that's good for now. Okay, so that's going to be the inside. It's going to be like the area where we go upstairs um, to the second story. Although maybe I want this to be a little bit higher than this. Um, I think I do, actually. I think I want to make it... I think I want my building to be um, bigger on the inside. I don't want the ceilings to be as low. Um, so we'll have to go ahead and make another one. All right, but that should work just fine. So this comes over here, and this is going to come to the entrance. Uh, one more, and then... Yeah. I'm not really sure how I'm going to build inside. Um, so that's going to come... Well, this will be like this for sure. Yeah, this will definitely be like this. Okay. Then we're going to need um, floor tiles. So let me go ahead and check out the floor tiles. Steel glass floor, basic floor. I think the basic floor is the tier two floor. So go ahead and make one of those. Oh, look at that. You can go on an angle. I didn't know that. Oh, that's cool. Oh, boy. Um, nah, I think I'm still going to use rounded edges. Because what I'm going to do is my front door is going to be like this. Like that. That's going to be my front door. Yeah, I like the rounded edges better. Um, although I'm not going to use straight rounded edges. I'm going to use the rounded windows. Okay. So let's come in here. Do we have the... F there we go. Okay, so let's go up top. Did we get the extra set of stairs? Uh, we did make another set of stairs, didn't we? Yeah, there they are. Okay, so let's come on up here. And let's see how we want to put these uh, stairs. Now, do I have to put that down for the stairs? Or can I just put the stairs down? Yeah, I got to put the floor down. Okay. So we're going to have to put the floor down for the stairs. And then they go up again. Like so. Come on. No? There we go. Is that good? Yeah, I think that's the only way to do it. I don't think you could do, like, stairs on top of each other, I guess. Right? No, I don't see any way to put stairs on top of each other. Uh, no, I don't, I don't really see a way to do it. Maybe there's a way to do it. I don't know. But um, this works for me. So there we go. And that'll go up to the next floor. All right, and the next floor will be the proper floor. Okay, all right, so that's our staircase. Okay, so um, now how am I going to do this? Now, this is going to be a tower. So I guess the first floor could just be like, uh, I don't know if I want anything on the first floor, right? Um, I don't think I want anything on the first floor. I, I don't think there's many like things you could do with rooms. Um, I'm going to need a power room, a room for power, a room for crafting, and a room for storage. So that's three. Um, maybe you could put the power on the first floor. No, put the power on the second floor. So second, third, and fourth. And then we'll make a fifth for... Okay, so the first floor is going to have nothing on it. Second floor will have power. Third floor will have crafting. Third floor, uh, Fourth floor will have storage. Fifth floor will be like a lookout tower. Sounds, sounds unnecessarily uh, complex and fun. All right, so uh, this is the entrance. We could do the entrance. I'm kind of building this in my brain. Um... Yes. Uh, okay. Well, whatever. We're gonna we're gonna go. We're gonna play it by ear here. We're not gonna plan everything out. Um. So that's gonna be one of the parts of the entrance. We're gonna also need, um, a doorway. So we're gonna need a doorway. There we go. All right. Uh, we're gonna have to build this out a little bit more. Okay. Fair enough. So let's come on down here. Let's build this out a little bit more. Okay. So we go there. 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 I'm hoping this thing doesn't end up like a square. <laughs> My building's not going to end up like a square, but the actual uh, compound might end up kind of squarey. But that's okay. It's, you know, uh, it's okay for a compound to be a square. You know, it's a fine. And I want to make it huge because I want to fit all kinds of stuff in it, like mechs, like giant mechs and everything. So that's the idea of making it so big. And I'm thinking, like, maybe um, I'll give everyone else the passwords and we can make our own places in here, too. And just bring everything in here. Or they could just make their own things, too. That's fine. 
Okay, so that's good. All right, so we got the doorway. I already had a doorway on me. That's okay. We'll, we'll need multiple doorways. So that's a doorway. And this is going to go like so. R. Okay. And then walls. We are going to need a lot of walls. Um, I'm going to place down walls for now, and I'll just I'll replace them later with uh, with windows if I feel if I feel like I want to. Okay, and that's good. And then I'm thinking a doorway right here is another entrance. We could put some turrets in here, um, or maybe we could put the turrets in here. Yeah, that'd be a good defense. Okay, so I'm thinking. Um, hold on, let's make some walls. I kind of want to. I want to put some turrets inside. I didn't plan out for turrets in this uh, this build, so that's a bit of a problem. But I think it'll be okay. Wall element. Let's go and make another fifty of those. Can't make 50. Can you make 25? Here we go. I have lots of stuff inside. I could really come on, make the 25. I have lots of stuff inside. I could make a lot more, a lot more things. So I'm thinking a wall right here, a doorway, a wall right here, and then a wall right here, a doorway, a wall right here, a turret here, and a turret here. Kind of like a little kill zone entranceway. And the bottom floor is just going to be all about kill zone entranceways, to be honest. Um, yeah, that works for me. Alright, so let's put that there. We're going to need another doorway. Alright, I'll make that later. Let's just kind of set this up and call it a video. I know we're going long here. Okay. Good. 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 Turrets. Looking good. Put you up there. 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 Okay, guys. I think we're going to call this one here. We've gotten we've gotten a lot of stuff done. I'm, I'm happy with the way this base is coming out. It's going to be awesome. Next video... There's a chance I might be building next video. I'm not really sure. But I, I think next video we're going to do some jobs. I would really, really like to do some jobs. Um, so that would be... I'm, I'm probably going to do jobs, by the way. <laughs> anyway, uh, thank you very much for watching. I will see you next time. And until then, take it easy.